Hello, Bharat. Uh, welcome, welcome to your video. Before we yes, start, sir. please give your brief introduction along with the NAP subject name and the company name. I'm Bharat Nair, sir. I'm from Andhra Pradesh. Uh, so today I want to take the snap about uh, mass transfer subject. And I want to, uh, I'm going for interview co interview of HRRLs. Okay. My first question to you, uh, what is Raoul's law? Raoul's law, uh, Raoul's law is all about uh, the solubility. Uh, I mean, the mole fraction in a solution is directly proportional to the partial pressure of the uh, given components. Uh. Okay. And? And uh, it gives the relation between mole fraction and the uh, uh, and the saturated pressure. Does it? Yes. Partial pressure of which phase? Of the gas phase. Sir. Gas or vapor. A vapor phase. What are the ideal conditions for or assumptions in Raoul's law? It must be an ideal solution, sir. Okay. Uh, and uh, it has a it has a, a very it has low concentrations. So. Low concentration. Which yeah. which um, is low concentration? The component of the mole fraction is uh, very low also. In the in the liquid that we had. Used. Okay. Anything else? So how ideal solution is uh, defined here? Basically, the ideal solution uh, does not take any deviation, sir. It, it has a, uh, no positive or negative deviation with the pressure, sir. No negative and positive deviations? Uh, yes, sir. Like, uh, we have two components in, in the solution, right, sir? So, mm. if we just add them, there is no... The, the total pressure will be equal to the... the both the solutions... Uh, Partial pressure, sir. Both the there solution will be partial pressure. Yes, sir. I mean, there is no deviation like positive and negative, sir. Okay. Yes. So, how will you know that uh, it, it is a ideal solution? By, by experimentation, we can get to know, sir. Like, we have a familiar, uh, uh, we have all the data, so with the help of that, we can get to know. Sir. Okay. okay. Any limitations for Raoul's law? Raoul's law is basically only for the ideal, uh, ideal solutions only, sir. It is not for uh, real solutions. That is main role of it. Anything else? Uh, actually, uh, I'm not reporting. Okay, no problem. Okay, uh, how fit location in a distillation column is decided? Field location, sir. Yes. The field location must be uh, at the point where the both the operating lines of uh, rectifying section and uh, stripping section operating lines should be intersected at one point, sir. And that po at that composition, we have to uh, at that point of temperature in the column, we have to uh, pull the field in the column, sir. I am not getting your answer. There is no clarity. Sir, at, uh, 
at the point of intersections of a uh, op uh, justifying operating line and uh, and uh, stripping operating line where they get intersected uh, at the point where they get intersected we have to we have to uh, we have to give the feed sir but do we define uh, uh, the stripping section and the and reaching section first or we just uh, define the feed location what sir do we define the uh, and reaching and the stripping section first if you uh, have a before the lung yes sir generally the the location below the feed are stripping and the location above the feed are uh, this enriching section so there is uh, no, nothing like that uh, the uh, intersection intersection point we have to give the feed after the uh, giving the feed at a particular location we decide where is the enriching section and the stripping section so how yeah. does it depend the feed location sir actually the feed that we have given has a major role in it sir like if you are giving a saturated uh, uh, liquid mm -hmm. if you giving if you are giving a saturated liquid uh, we usually uh, make it in the middle of the column sir okay if it uh, if it is uh, if it is um, both uh, if it is a superheated liquid we will be superheated vapor then we have to give it in the below of the columns most okay. preferably anything else and based on that uh, we can have both uh, both restraint section and stripping sections okay Yes. Okay. Uh, what is extraction? Extraction is a phenomena where uh, it is basically depends on the solubility, sir. Uh, where we 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 extract the solute from a carrier liquid to the another liquid. They mm -hmm. they both get contact and they will be in equilibrium to get a solute mass transfer into the uh, desired liquid, sir. The air liquid, okay. I mean the extractive liquid that we have to use. Okay, so uh, can you give me one example of extraction process in refined industry? In refined industry, sir. Yes. Oh. Sir, uh, right now I am I'm not getting it, sir. Like uh, applications of it. Okay. No problem. Yes. Okay. Now tell me. Now, what is wet wall temperature? Wet bulb temperature, sir. Yes. Wet bulb, tem wet bulb temperature is uh, where where the mass transfer, uh, whatever the mass transfer uh, will be contributing, whatever the mass transfer uh, energy is taking, it, taking it. Uh, it is a it is a temperature where uh, the fluid take the temperature and uh, it. It decreases the temperature of the bulb, sir. The liquid which is on the bulb it get uh, evaporated and decreases the temperature of the bulb, sir. So that at at that point the mass transfer, the mass transfer which is required to uh, evaporate the water, which is equal to the, which is equal to the heat transfer that is occurring on the bulb, sir. At that temperature, uh, we can say uh, at that temperature, at that la last temperature, we will say that uh, as a wet bulb temperature.
ओके व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एडियाटिक एडियाबेटिक सैचुरेशन टेंपरेचर एंड वेडेबल टेंपरेचर सर एडियाबेटिक वेट पोल टेंपरेचर इज अ स्पेसिफिक कंडीशन दैट वी हैव टेकन व्हिच इज एज सिमिलर एज वेट पोल टेंपरेचर सर वेल बोथ आर सेम सर बट इट इज डिफाइंड एज स्पेसिफिक इट इज इट इज अकर इन द नो हीट नो हीट नो हीट ट्रांसफर अदर देन द सिस्टम सो सो एट दैट बोथ आर बोथ आर सेम सर at uh, 100 percent is at uh, at the point of equilibrium uh, mm -hmm. we can say the wet bulb temperature is equals to the adiabatic temperature at the point of equilibrium what do you mean by equilibrium what kind of equilibrium like uh, there is no mass there is no uh, transfer of uh, liquid vapor is getting into the mm -hmm. uh surrounding sir at that point uh, there is no change in the wet bulb temperature sir then it will be equals to the adiabatic temperature at a relative humidity of 100% okay i mean yes okay now i am giving you the feedback okay yes uh you have not uh, gone through the fundamentals of the many concept okay yes sir like uh, just go through the uh, definitions of what is raoult's law what is its uh, assumptions uh, what are its limitations limitations yes, and assumptions are not uh, both are not same yes, limitations sir. are that uh, we we cannot apply raoult's law above critical point the solution should be the sub critical yes. okay above critical point we yes. cannot uh, uh, apply the raoult's law yes sir so similarly you can go through the henry's law uh, also yes. and uh, about heat location so heat location depends on various factor okay it depends yes. on the relative volatility of the composition it depends what kind of uh, product specification uh, specification we required okay so that we can uh, uh, locate the feed at that particular area uh, yes it also requires uh, depends on the heat integration and of course yes. the operational considerations like ease of access to the piping or ease of maintenance so these are the various factors we consider while uh, locate our feed yes sir and the major difference between the wet bulb temperature and adiabatic temperature are that wet bulb temperature are steady state non equilibrium temperature whereas adiabatic is steady state equilibrium temperature yes, we keep sir. it we keep it inside a uh, adiabatic chamber till we yes. uh, achieve, achieve the equilibrium but not in uh, not in case of wet bulb temperature so both are not equal both are equal at the relative humidity 100 that is correct yes. but but apart from that they are not equal okay yes sir so do brush up your concept and yes go sir. through all these fundamentals because you are not confident and also uh, there is there is lack of confidence uh, is visible in, in your answer so do yes, uh, prepare for this okay yes sir because uh, if you, if you don't know the concept and if you if you have very less con confidence then you will get very less mark yes sir in yes, the interview okay so just try to answer those questions Uh, in which you are very confident and answer it confidently whatever whatever may be the answer answer it confidently if you know yes. anything about that course yes okay. sir oh thank you sir.